It's new office vlog time again, but it starts at the old office today because why are there so many pairs of shoes here? There's more behind the door and mine, if you call these shoes. <sighs> well, just because we're moving into a new office doesn't mean the old office has shut down. In fact, we've done a lot of cleanup, which is not immediately apparent from the place where I'm standing. And we've actually added two more people that I'm going to introduce real quick here. Let's go. FreshBooks is the online accounting service for small business owners that gives you the tools to make you feel like the boss you are. Click on my face to learn more about it. So it starts right here. This is John. He's from America. Oh, did someone say America? Wow. So uh, he'll be helping us out with Fast As Possible Scripts, which he's actually already been doing on a contract basis, but now he's full time. He made it across the border, legally. Some, somehow. I'm working on the next exciting episode of Fast As Possible right now. Are you? Yes. Oh, how RFID works. Fascinating. And the editing den got cleaned up in terms of both its, uh, you know, appearance, because we had to shoot the whole room water cooling conclusion, and its ethnic diversity. So this is Dennis, who is hailing from Taiwan. Hi. I'm from Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> he edits videos, which is good. Mm. Do you speak English? Yeah, I do a little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit. So he'll be editing fast as possible, as well as any of the other things that we throw at him. In fact, he actually did, uh, what was that vlog style one that you did the other day? Um, personal rig update? Yeah, so Dennis, with some help from Ed, actually edited the last personal rig update as well. So let him know with a comment under the video if you're uh, impressed with any of the work that he's done, which so far you know of one thing, so. And as promised, here's some more of the alleged uh, tidying up that was done. So some of you, the astute among you, might have noticed that Dennis is sitting at what used to be my desk. So I uh, don't have one anymore until we move. That was never supposed to happen. They were supposed to join us after the move, but... <laughs> uh, so this is my desk. I'm actually sitting on what used to be kind of like a bench testing table. And I'm using my laptop as my rig, which is in my backpack at the moment. So, oh, this is good. I don't want to forget my power adapter. So let's head to the new office and see if they've made any progress. I hope to be moving in soon. All right, we're here, so let's go inside. I legitimately don't know what's been done since the last time I've been here, so this'll be, uh, this'll be quite the adventure here. It's a lot, uh, wow, it's a lot more spacious over here, so a lot of the construction material-y stuff has been relocated. Our garbage bin is almost full. Ah, okay, no, I lied. This I knew about. So we've actually had our, our main man, Justin, over here moving a whole bunch of stuff and assembling shelving. So these shelving units, which used to be just on a pallet, completely unassembled, have now been put together and are full of all the empty boxes of all the hardware that we're currently using at the office, as well as just any other low value stuff that we thought is probably safe to store in the warehouse with all the workers milling about. I don't think anyone's gonna take off with our, you know, horse head mask or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, so this is actually, wow, this is fairly deep. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to get at this stuff. Uh, this is set walls, which I think I've talked about before. And then this is a bit of a better look at the low value pile in the corner here and all the empty boxes and stuff. So this is all boxes we have to keep because we're not going to junk it and we want to have the boxes and accessories in case we ever need it for something. But uh, we didn't want it taking up a whole whack load of space at the office. So let's move over this way. Doop, 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 doop. Uh, once again, something's been leaned against the side, but it looks like it's at least light this time, so I don't have to be too upset. Oh, look at this. 
The pegboards have been painted. So these pegboards are going to be part of the, uh, the workshop set. And we're going to actually legitimately use them as pegboards as well and, you know, hang things off of them. So, oh, look, there's blue ones too. I actually didn't know that there were going to be different colors. So Esther um, from NCIX, who is also my sister-in-law, has actually been involved in a lot of the set design and was over here painting these pegboards, I think, uh, yesterday. Ooh, Brandon's going to be exciting. Or, Brandon's always exciting to me. Uh, Brandon's going to be excited. It looks like we have two of his little carry things around in the warehouse things designed for, uh, you know, C-stands and flags and all that kind of filming nonsense that he needs. Other than that, it looks like no real changes to this backdrop, but doors are going in. Ooh, a fancy schmancy. So this door is actually going to be integrated into one of the sets here. We're going to kind of blend it, put some, you know, stuff on it. And when this door is closed, where I'm standing right here will actually be the, the workshop set, including and up to even as far as over here, depending on what angle we want to shoot at. So that is definite progress. Now we can move inside. The editing den has been painted. So these are the, uh, you know, nice, bright, friendly, happy colored walls in here. Uh, once the painting is done, I don't know if they've done all the coats yet, but once the painting is done, they're going to be able to go around and start doing finishing touches like, you know, actually putting the outlets and uh, networking jacks on here. Not every wall in the place will be white though. So you can see some rooms are going to have accent walls. In this case, we went with an orange accent wall for the library that should contribute to the cheerfulness. I don't know, whatever. We went with orange because it's kind of our company color. That's why there's an orange wall. Don't overthink it. Um, wow, tons of progress on the kitchen. In fact, the cabinets are basically in. We still don't have the sink or anything like that in yet. I I think it goes on, I want to say this side, but don't quote me on that. And then we're going to have a microwave here. And then I thought there was a plan to have a second microwave shelf, but maybe we kicked that in the nut somewhere along the line. This is where we're going to be storing all of our customized cutlery and all that kind of nonsense. So yeah, looking pretty good. So there's progress on the floors as well. This is something that wasn't quite as apparent when we were filming before. So we're putting in vinyl tiles in some places and carpet tile in other places. I can't remember what those were, but presumably the floor guys know. Apparently one of the flooring guys has watched a lot of our videos over the years. So that's pretty cool. Uh, in here, it looks like there's actually wet cement. They are pretty close then, I guess, to actually building in the bathroom stuff here. So I was entirely wrong when I did one of the previous tours here. The uh, toilet is not over there. The toilet must be here. So there you go. And that, I guess, is where the sink goes. So Luke shouldn't hit his head too bad in here, in spite of the fact that the stairs are part of the bathroom. Okay. Uh, this is where Harry Potter will live. This is the true home of Harry Potter, okay? A bunch of people were thinking he was going to be living out in the warehouse. Do I seem like the kind of person who would make someone live out in the warehouse? No, no, I am not. Another accent wall, looking nice. So the front entryway here is going to be livened up a little bit like that. And we have access to the stairs now. Wow, this has changed a lot. So lots of finishing touches here. Wow, that ceiling feels really, really high. I guess you lose track of how high up you are in a building when you're standing on stairs and stuff. So uh, let's have a look at what's going on up here. Doors are going in. Apparently there is a green accent wall in this bathroom. So that's cool. Um, they are like really working right now. So this, yeah, here we go. So this office, I had some people notice that uh, we didn't have a window in this office. Well, there is a window. It's just built into the door. Okay. The meeting room looks like they have, uh, looks, this looks like just some little touch-ups for, you know, marks and whatnot. So I guess they're going to do like an actual, let's see, they've done the cutting in, but no, oh, someone's working on this right now. So that's why I couldn't figure out sort of what stage of completion this was at. The paint is actually wet right over there in the corner. So conference room, more progress. And it looks like, oh, I get another accent wall in my office. So this is what the Linus Sebastian office is going to look like with the uh, 
orange wall here and the view outside right there. Now, there is something I would like to address, something that we received a lot of requests for. And for that, we will have to head downstairs. I changed my mind. Harry Potter will be living here thanks to the fact that there is a sprinkler in Harry Potter's room. That way, if he's ever pissing me off, I'll know what to do. Gets the hose again. Here it is, my friends. You asked and we delivered. You guys wanted to see a fire pole in the Linus Media Group office? Now, yes, you are seeing a fire pole in the Linus Media Group office. Is it real? Is it an illusion? Only the editors will know. Guys, thanks for watching this new office update vlog. Hopefully, based on the progress that we're seeing here, this is pretty close to the last one, and we are going to be moving in pretty soon. If you disliked this video, you guys know what to do. If you liked it, though, go ahead, pop a like on there. Also, maybe consider subscribing or supporting us, whether it's by buying a cool t-shirt like this one, giving us a direct contribution monthly through our forum, or just changing your Amazon bookmark to one with our affiliate code. We've actually got a video guide on how you can do that. That helps us out a lot. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching. Oh, and if you're looking for something else to watch, we actually just recently released our video about... Damn it. I can never remember what's on the calendar. Okay, I checked the calendar. Uh, the whole room water cooling conclusion is finally up, so you guys can go check that out now. I'll see you again at the next video. What we do around here.